Um, I just picked it up today because I've been feeling up in a card game mood. Um, so I'm going to give it a whirl, put it on Twitch, and see how people feel about it. And I'm also, for the first time, trying this out on uh, Facebook Live. And I am watching the Facebook Live chat, too, which is been interesting because I'm trying to figure out where to put everything on my desktop in order to see everything from like Twitch and Facebook. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> Too many options. Too many options. Anyway, Shadowverse. Let's give it a whirl. Especially as we were saying before, it's very much... Oh, hi, Brian. <laughs> Uh, Shadowverse is 100% um, a TCG, very much Hearthstone magic, um, you know, summoning monsters and trying to destroy the other person's life total before they can do the same to you. Um, the choice comes in some of the classes that they have. They're, they actually have a large assortment of classes known as leaders um, who each have a very, 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 very different mechanic. Um, more than just different cards that they can play or like Hearthstone where you, everyone gets like their own active. Um, like this fundamentally changes the way the game plays for them. Uh, so for example, uh, like Urius here or who's the vampire um, or the other person who I play who is also, this is the Bloodcraft leader, um, I should say in general, they are able to actually waste their own life. Uh, if they get below 10, uh, then their vengeance ability activates and then certain cards that they have if vengeance is turned on, we'll do different things. And some cards will actually do things if vengeance is turned off too. So they're constantly watching the vengeance state and uh, seeing how things change for them in their hand. Um, on the other side of this, the other character I've been giving a whirl on is Luna. Um, she's the Shadowcraft slash um, like necromancy player. Um, as she loses creatures off the battlefield, she gains shadows and she can then use those shadows later on to power other cards automatically. Um, and it changes again, it changes the effects that the card has when it comes into play, it changes how powerful it could be, um, and that is a really interesting mechanic, you know, it's very much like a, a catch-up mechanic after you've lost a lot of creatures, and it doesn't matter what sort of creature it was, as long as it was sacrificed, it, uh, it will add into your shadow total, basically. And over here, uh, we have Isabel, Erica, Rowan, and they, again, they all have very different, um, styles of play all of them i haven't given a world yet um the main storyline makes you play Arisa at the beginning and she's pretty easy just you know you get a lot of low-cost fairies and you sort of overwhelm players with fairies um they also have um two different block sets right now so if you're interested in creating decks there's two different types which is rotation and unlimited uh, rotation is for the last five expansions that they've done um, unlimited is all of their expansions, and currently they are at eight. Uh, and you do get unlimited cards for playing the game. Uh, you also get ro rotation cards too. Uh, they're pretty giving with the cards. Uh, I was actually like, I started up the game just a little while ago. I got through the tutorial, and they gave me ten booster packs of all five of their rotation expansions. So they certainly handed me a lot of cards. Uh, now the downside to this is unfortunately um, cards are split up into rarity types and unlike Hearthstone they're not as balanced as one would like. <laughs> uh, so you know bronze, silver, gold, legendary are your rarities. Legendary cards are absurdly better than standard cards and they come in all sorts of varieties. As we see the legendary fighter here is literally a, a two cost creature uh, to being the you know, the cost being the green point here, uh, attack and defense, you know, pretty much standard magic. Um, yeah, they're, they're much more powerful than other cards of the same type. Again, gold is still more powerful, silver less powerful, and bronze are your commons. Those are the ones you're going to be pulling frequently. Um, but decent enough, you know, uh, deck builder, it looks like uh, you can also look for, you know, specific classes if you want to look for class cards or more common cards too. Uh, you can look for all sorts of um, pieces of your collection to sort of put your decks together as you need. Um, 
I should also note that this is available on phone and iOS too, just like Hearthstone. So this is sort of made with a phone interface in mind and it was ported to PC afterwards, but uh, I am playing it on the PC as of tonight, so. All right, I think we got over like a lot of the basics here. Um, you know, there is a cash shop, obviously it's a free to play game, so they have to make money somehow. Um, but with all that in mind, we're gonna jump over to play some solo matches on the storyline. And the storyline's not bad. Uh, like I said, I was, I've been giving it a whirl on Luna. I haven't tried Urius yet. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to try Isabel, I think, uh, tonight. Because I have been interested in RuneCraft. Because I fought her earlier. And she seemed pretty cool. Um, the more cards you basically... as you, For time you play spells out of your hand, you get more powerful cards for, that are on the field. So from their spell boost effects. Uh, so again, a very different style of play than furious who I was playing earlier and watching my health and being like am i at 10 yet oh i'm gonna get so excited when i'm at 10. we will just rip these guys apart <laughs> and of course here's like your background basically this big light has appeared in the the sky and it's affecting all these different people in different ways this is the morning star which you see on all the card backs and all the art of the game It is also fully voiced in both Japanese and English, which is kind of cool. Why didn't that work? That should have brought him back. He should be here. And she's a bit obsessed with bringing her fiance back from the dead, and we don't know why. Just reasons. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. And yes, my titles please help. Because, oh god, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Alright, the first chapter usually outlines how the class plays and what you need to know about it, and they give you like a huge head, huge head start on the other person. Let's see. Mars is power cards that have spell boost. Whenever you play a spell, the spell boost cards in your hand become more powerful. Makes sense. So we have spell boosts hiding out over there. Um, so we're gonna do magic missile. Hey, attack the darkness! All right, wind blast spell boot effect has been activated. Wind blast now deals one more damage than before. Now play another spell. Um, can I not just see spell? Okay, I guess not. Hondra golem. Spell boost can activate any number of times for cards in your hand. Let's end the turn. Revenge. Although I keep the spell boost across turns, and it looks like I do, because it's still glowing. Yeah, well, there's another spell boost card in your hand. So we have Lightning Shooter, which is another spell boost card. A uh, fanfare basically also means up here that when we play the card, that's what will happen when the card is played out into the field. So it's going to deal one damage to an enemy follower. If we spell boost this turn, which we will, we're going to deal more damage with the lightning shooter. But we need to spell boost first, which wind blast, obviously. And it's going to deal three damage to an enemy follower, which we want that guy. All right, so that increases the effect of fanfare. So we want lightning shooter. Lightning shooter is a creature, a 3-3, three, three, but it's also going to do some extra damage there. And then, okay. And now we get to the point in the game where Shadowverse sets itself apart from the other games of the market, and that's through evolution. Um, so evolution happens when a, after a certain number of turns into the game. Uh, it's down here. You have a number of points. Right now, because I went first, I have two. The other player who goes second will always have three. Uh, and you can only play these. Um, after the, that specific turn has passed and you still have points remaining. If you run out of evolution points, you don't get them back. They're not a currency. 
Um, so it's really important to understand how you spend those because they are basically the big game changer. And it's a really neat catch up mechanic. So in this case, we're going to evolve this guy. Uh, when he evolves, he's going to be a 4 4. Uh, the other trick is if you evolve them, they immediately get a rush, uh, which means they can attack enemy followers that same turn. So they avoid the traditional summoning sickness that other uh, card games or, you know, the traditional card games can get into. So yeah, we want to evolve there. And done. Oh, we got a lightning shooter. Cool. I had to attack and play a story match. What was that? The marking on its chest looked like the morning star. Why would it come yes. from all places? All the laws of nature are bending, but the one I'm trying to change. All I want is to see you again. I've tried everything. I don't know what else to do. Come back to me, Kyle. Kyle? It's a fantasy word world and your fiance's name is Kyle. Eh. Alright, insight. We're gonna have to actually make a new deck. But we're going to do that nice and quick. Auto deck, hooray. Um, Isabel, please. And we have a nice randomly generated deck here that we're going to use. Uh, it looks okay. <laughs> wow, we do actually have a 10 mana card called Flame Destroyer. Yeah, what kind of name is Kyle besides a bad one? All right, we'll we'll give this we'll give this deck a try and see how it plays. Um, parable room craft. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's solo it up. Jump right back to where we were. I hate that. Punch you back out to make that deck, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Terrible runecraft. Maybe this will help me devise some new angles for my research. After all, it's so peaceful here. I just need to clear my head. Dear child, word of your undertakings has reached me. The deeds you try to accomplish, they defy nature's order. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aim, priestess of the Sacred Hall. You should let go of your despair before it consumes you. You're very perceptive. But perceptive and persuasive are two different things. Do you truly wish to go against the order of this world? I don't care either way. Your despair may be the truth. What would you know about it? Oh shit, they're gonna throw down. It's almost like we saw this coming. Because it's a card battle game. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. My wife. My wife. Oh. Way to draw a bunch of shitty cards. <laughs> okay, this deck. This deck's already on my nerves. Defeat me, but nothing will change. That was this is awful. Okay, we got one. We got one card we could no, I can't play it this turn. Cool. What does it do? What do you do? I live by the sword. Tell me what you do. You're a legendary fighter. Alright. Deals two damage to enemy follower, deal four damage to enemy follower instead, and deal one damage to the enemy leader if we have Earthright. How do I get Earthright? If I have an Earth Sigil. Well, we don't have any Earth. Oh, God damn it, okay. 
I don't know if this, this deck has any of those. So, I guess we're just summoning a legendary fighter. So here's the thing about legendary fighter. He's really good. But getting him to become really good is really, really hard. So, play a spell, he gets Bane, which means he kills every, anything he touches. Um, if you play an amulet, which we don't have any in our hand right now, he gets Rush. Uh, at the start of the turn, if he has both Bane and Rush, and the ability to attack another person two times per turn, uh, which is when another allied follower evolves, he gets plus eight, plus eight. Are we going to get that? No. I think he's going to die this turn. And there it is. Cool. Um, we don't have spell boost, but I would love it. So, you know what? Okay. I mean, I would, I would say it was worth it, ma'am. And we now have the ability to evolve as of this turn too. So, level flare, two damage to all followers. Summon two snowmen, spell boost, summon one more. Yes, we're all about that. I don't know. I think we just end. Because we can't attack. I don't want to evolve these guys. They're kind of shitty. Ah, uh, Mysterian Missile and Mysterian Circle is a random ad. Nova Flare would deal two damage to all followers. Chain Lightning would what? Three damage to enemy. Put a Chain Lightning into your hand if you had less than three other cards, which we don't. We already have, I think, both of our Chain Lightnings, too. You like the cold? <laughs> Everybody. Maybe. Maybe. I don't want to use that. I don't want to use my Chain Lightnings. I really don't. That's three damage to enemy, right? Are any of them charged? Oh, they don't have, yeah, they don't have spell. Yeah, we can hit her. Okay, I'll just shock her. Um, we do have two other cards that are spell boosted though. Fine. Grand Spire. Right, still don't have that earth, that any of that. Uh. Subtract three from the cost of this card. Spell boost can track one more. Or we can keep spell boosting it, I think. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to take four, eight, eleven. Ugh. <laughs> I have six. Let's see what we can get. This wasn't worth it. Have to do that. Mysterian missile. Three damage to follower, one damage to leader. That sucks. So I'm taking eight damage. She might evolve. I might lose this with this shitty deck because I had a really awful pull. I only have the snowman kick now. Summon six snow knights or six wild snowmen. Let's do it. What do you do? You have storms, so you're going to attack the same turn to come out. You have wards, so you're really hard to get through. I might put up the wards, because... Oh, I could rush her, though.
The only ones. I gotta defend. Yeah, I gotta defend. I mean, that's everything right there. I can't attack, yeah. Could evolve someone. It might be time to start evolving. Yeah. That scares me. The rest of them are going to die when they hit those. Oh, he has to go after that first, though, because it's a ward. I'm gone. That has to be like that. Yeah, that's that. Oh, God. It's only going to be three now. Because of all the spells. We can make it even cheaper. Three spell boosts. Um... Well, three damage to a follower. Hope will prevail. It's even cheaper now. Conjure Golem. And this might be free by the end of this, should. I don't know, can it go below? Let's find out. It can. Oh, that's nice. You get to evolve. I have this. Yeah, I do have this. So we can fiery embrace. Yep. She just dives from here. But you only have like two cards. Yeah. Allow me to set you free. Armor more. Yep, that's that. Yeah, that's not true, but whatever. Just shock her to death. Defeat me, but nothing will change. Balls. Nice. I prevailed again. Wow, I hate this deck though. You're not going to get in my way. By the way, if you're just tuning in on Twitch or Facebook, thank you to all of you. I said, you tuned in? My wife, my beautiful wife? Thank you. I love you. I would get it with text. The depths of your love, your sadness. I'm sorry. I had to be sure. What are you trying to say? There are those you're who welcome. support you, and those who support cowardly. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, wife. I think you're great. <laughs> Uh -huh. For the dead, I cannot attest to the real or true. There, however, is a chance that the girl has some unknown powers. A chance. It may seem far-fetched, but the girl inspires fear in all those she meets. 
I'll keep that in mind. I apologize for being so aggressive. Not at all. I, too, had to be simple. Please, forgive me. Sure. I hope I have been of some assistance. She already left. <laughs> I'm going to talk to no one. Oops, 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 oops. Life and death. A girl who can talk to the dead. I saw this one earlier. Even a little. She might be able to help me. Hi, I'm Luna. Wanna do something together? Sure, Luna. I'm Isabel. What do you want to do? Help the little girl during out here alone. Could she be the one? She doesn't look scary. Mm -hmm. You decide. That's a good idea. Don't you see mother and father? Mother and father? There's nobody here. Uh, this is weird to hear from the other perspective. <laughs> Luna, you're not doing some sort of seance, are you? Be a good girl and tell me how you're doing it. There's someone that I have to talk to. It's very important. What's the seance? Your parents are someplace far away now, right? No, they're right here. You should die like them. What? I told you. I'm going to kill you now. She's so jovial about it. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Don't worry, your death will be a great time. I just, I love how jovial she is. Hey, an actual good pull. You should come on my adventure. Oh, your adventure's weird. Look, I made a friend. Oh god, is the rat alive? I thought it was just like a cute thing she carried. I didn't know it was actually like a pet. Man. Uh, we got not a Mysteria. Oh, that's if last word was played. Okay. I want to save you for once and maybe try and get you. Uh, that's one way to do it. Lame. A Fallon who's all the way across on the other side of my room. Hi, Fallon. So far away. So far away. He was just saying lame, a card game without mana burn. There, there's, you have to. There's no way to do that here. Um, I still want to wait. Some in the snow, man. All right, you spell boosted. You're all spell boosted. Oh, good. Now it's chilly here. And we'll do three too. Okay. You had to say skeletons, didn't you? Fallon. Just had to say skeletons, cause guess what? You got it. His name is Athena. Got your freaking skeleton. His name is the Phoenix. The Phoenix? Cause he's always on fire. Oh, the Phoenix always on fire. Do you wanna build two snowmen? I wanna build three snowmen. I wanna go all the way. <laughs> Gotta do that. And that. Love the cold. All about it.
Now I'm just looking for things. Ah! Ooh. Okay. Um. Right. Fire embrace. Have to actually keep spell boosting the shit out of it. Um, summon four snowman. Oh, I can keep spell boosting you. What if I play you? Now still looking for. Um, well, I I want as many snowmen as I can get here. It's gonna be a four four if he evolves. It's also a four four. That's last words. That's if he dies. I'm not gonna get it. So. Yeah. You're done for. Let's do it. Let's do what we can to get that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Knew that was gonna happen. Well, this actually isn't that bad for me. Oh. Fanfare, if there are cards in your hand that have spell boosted fewer than five times, spell boost those cards until they have spell boosted five times. Holy shit. That's going to make Fiery Embrace free. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you're getting the evolution treatment. And we can get some damage in here. I don't know. I think we can do it. I think. Oh, I don't have an amulet. Let's be really excited and get the le legendary fighter out. <laughs> the flame, the flame destroyer is finally here. Oh God, um, I wish I had it in my hand when I played this guy. Damn it! Um, accelerate too. How do I accelerate? Play a card. We're gonna play for the accelerate. Cost. Oh, interesting. Well, it's not going to make it much of a difference now. How many cards do I have left? Oh, I don't know. Meh. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah, shoot through. I think we got this, fam. Oh, there's a ward there, but it ain't gonna matter soon. <laughs> you pass. What do you do? No allied followers in play. Pray. Perform Earthrite. Oh, interesting. Well, Fiery Embrace is coming out. Bye! It doesn't matter. Boom. Talking with your parents. We just talk with them. It isn't hard. 
But if you stay at dead with her, you get to hang out forever. You can be with your freaking Kyle guy. Sad Isabel. If nothing else, that opens up new avenues of inquiry. Say that Luna isn't just imagining that vampire. Something would have had to bring it back to life. A simple blood sample could reveal volumes about the resurrection process. Just wait a little more, Kyle. You, do you want to you want to bring him back as a vampire? These aren't good ideas, hon. Not. I'm not going to pull punches here. <sighs> let's go. Let's go back off and we'll try out uh, the other deck I have. So we're going to play some Luna. So after Never Again, we literally just had that happen, actually. So you fight the vampire here and then you fight Isabel here. So we just saw Isabel. And you guys saw that scene, so we're going to go over and do False Knight. So as we said before, I'll say it a bit. Oh man, do I get to do voiceovers for Luna's mother and father? Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun. Be be careful, Luna. I'll be fine. What? It changed. Forgive me. Forgive. Why is it saying that? I'm not sure, darling. I think it's better if we keep exploring. That's right, honey. Don't talk to the weird glowing man. All right, father. I'll just wish it goodbye and then go. This is the best storyline I get to stream. God damn it. Fine, fine. So her mechanic is shadows, as I said before. As she loses uh, people on the battlefield, she'll get shadows, which will power other cards that she has in her deck. Whenever you see necromancy, it's going to actually spend shadows. Right now, we don't really care. We don't even have enough to do anything. My dragon and I are one. You're mean. Yeah, you're mean. Mean asshole. So that would do four later if we wait. Don't want to use that yet. Bane is going to kill somebody no matter what. So we'll wait on that too. I'll just I'm die in resentment now. Bye. Oh. Summon a Venus Wraith Knight. Fanfare and has five. Which we don't have. Gain last words, deal three damage to a random follower. We don't have that and god I need defense right now. Yeah. Uh, of course. All right, we have a revolution ready. Huh. 
but we don't have another follower in play right now. And we don't have enough people dead to do a zombie summon. Um, it's gotta be cheap cards. Comes four three. Four four. Let's do that. My swordsmanship is epic. Okay. Yeah. What have we got? What you doing over there, Nibbles? I mean, I have a all three in this game. I take a new team out with lepers, and I fight the collector. Every time you fight the collector? Who do you think just popped up? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Need to catch up. Nope, not yet. I just want someone mildly beefy. I should have waited, probably, actually. That might have been a waste if he nukes it out. No, he didn't. Thank fuck. Um, that's just going to create a freaking lich. We can do caster now. Because we actually can fanfare it. Well, that's nice. Um this wasn't worth it. Wanna yeah. I I'm confident enough in what we're doing. Like upon the land. Oh god damn it. Um Let's try an allied follower and summon his tin soldier. It doesn't activate if there's no other allied followers in play. That's if we do Mad Hatter, but we could. I wonder if I can get a sort of a trigger here because he has last words. Summon a caster. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see if we can trigger it like that. Mm, this may be fun. I won't die again. Or not. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work like that, I guess. Apparently. Um, yeah, I would do want to involve you, so I can get through this goddamn defense. He's fun. I like him. We have the ghostly rider and like the files. He's out of cards. There it is. There we go. Oh, no, Spectre. Shit. Basically, extra shadows there. Summoning the Lich might be really good. Oh, Ghostly Rider will give a ward to a random follower. Oh, he's a ward. Yeah, let's do that. And then Spectre. So if we need to actually remove something, we'll be able to. Um, we're going to put the Hatter at risk here, unfortunately. No, no, we don't have to. Let's put the Tin Soldier in line of fire here. <laughs> Worth. knew that was going to happen, and that's why we have the Spectre in play. I death, even his death. So we can ensure that it will be dealt with. Uh, we can do both. Now we only have five card slots available, so if we do this Bard Eye Soldier, we're going to fill it up with the Shadow. Well, no we're not. Yeah, we can do that, because we're going to get Shadows over here. Duh. It's not a summonable, it's a resource. Oh, now she has Bane. Cool. Um, I mean, doesn't matter. <laughs> Bye. I did it. I 
staying hydrated. Do we have any missions for her? Only one match. Play take two in arena. I don't know, what do you guys think of the game so far? Because I'm enjoying it, I gotta say. Power balance issues aside. Oh, sorry, I have to actually do my voice acting. Let's make Luna's mother really old. For whatever reason. And then let's make Luna's father sexual chocolate. Which is a voice one of our friends do does, and AIM does it all the time. So you know what, let's do that. That's just yeah. Beast. How should Luna's mother sound? She could be Irish. Oh, you did a great job, Luna. Your mother and I had a lot of fun too. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a child. You have issues. <laughs> my fat mother. We gotta do one more Luna just cause why not? Shadowcraft. Exploring, exploring. Today we are exploring. I'm glad that you're having fun, Luna. We always have we always have so much fun together. I know. Oh boy. What have you done? Are you alright? Yeah. Who are you? My name's Alicia. What's your name? Luna. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing, Luna? Exploring with mother and father. Is your house near here, Luna? I think you should head home. I can take you there if you want. Oh no. Are you going to hurt me? No, of course not. I'm your friend. I guess. But there's still a lot I want to see. Come on. It'll be fun to hang out together. We can explore some more on the way back to your house. All right. Let's have an adventure together then. Good idea, Luna. She seems like she'd had fun with you. Yeah. She'll be better than the other people you met. Well, don't you love me? A great skeleton. I got all these meat on my bones, and maybe I don't. <laughs> Mother, father, come on. All right, I'm Luna. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. That's what your mother said last night. <laughs> oh, God. What have you done? God? Okay. Everything's fine. What was that? Just a I fucking longer. killed Sackville Baggins. Oh no, Sackville Baggins is dead? Yeah, to the collector. I guess people on the stream will find out later. Yeah. Goodbye, Sackville Baggins. Goodbye forever. Fare thee well. I was gonna name her Suckville Baggins. Suckville Baggins? <laughs> I mean... She did kinda okay. suck. Too bad. Too oh, bad. my fat mother. I blame Aim for letting your fat mother in here, by the way. That's completely her fault. Yeah. You have last words? Oh, you do. Okay. Don't have enough. Yeah, nowhere near enough for that yet. Um. 
Bane's gonna ensure something dies, so. <sighs> Gotta wait on that. Okay. God damn. Those combos. Well, oh, legendary fighters here. One of their allied followers in play. Gain last words, summon a caster. Here's the thing. They have a three, though. Like, don't have a zombie, but you know what? It's it. We can. We gotta do this. Of course you want to attack with the goddamn band. And the ward, whatever. Whatever! Whoa, what is happening over there? Yeah. So that's Bane. We don't have necromancy yet. Next turn we get Black Swan though. We have to take this into our own hands. That's nothing to fear now. Please don't say they have the last words. Okay, no, there's wards. Like this. Like this. Like that. Okay, and we can kind of tank everything else, unless she wants to hit, get hit for four. I mean, she wants to get hit by four. Sure. Sure. Oh. What? Oh. Switching things out. Jesus. Must be Rider's Ward, right? Yep. Someone's enemy of debt. White Swan, and of all this follower. She, she gets a free evolution if. She... But I give a White Swan to them. There's not enough room on their side of the field. Okay, question. If there's not enough rooms on their side of the field, what would happen? The answer is no. <laughs> and I still get the evolution, which is super fucking handy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. I have to down some of this damage. Thank you. I should have just attacked. I didn't realize she had that. Holy shit. Oh my god, she's gonna be great against this. Fuck your sword, maiden. Shit. So fanfare, but one of their ally followers. Oh, it's only for fanfare. God damn it. Um. I really don't want to lose this. So, do that. Goodbye, friend. I'll get you back. Play. 
God damn. That's actually a really smart play. That's a really good play. Freaking lame. Excuse me for a second. So many fucking fairies I have to beat through here. I only have one left. Do I really want a 6-6 six, six and just put it at risk if she has... She has one card in her hand. I have to go and try this. Of course, you just get endless goddamn fairies. Yeah, drifter, okay. Well, you're out of evolutions, though. And so am I. <laughs> She's gonna play whatever she gets next. It just gives her more time. You know what? Doesn't matter. I just have to put things out on the board. Sure, I won't get the zombie, but I just need things on the fucking board. We can do that so I get less damage. Good, okay. Oh good. Yeah. If we don't, but Alright, we have everything. We should be fine. We should be fine. Wanna join us? This wasn't working. Wanna join us? I wasn't ready for this yet. Hooray. Ah, I did it. Not sure about this deck, guys. That sounds like little Luna just didn't doesn't like other people, especially them livings. <laughs> All right, so that's a brief look into Shadowverse train card game. 
Um, thank you to everyone who dropped by for a super fucking late stream. Um, really do appreciate it. I'm, I'm probably going to be streaming more tomorrow. Uh, I have a planned stream tomorrow, and this will go up probably right after this as a semi-review try session thing. But otherwise, if you're around, I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the normally scheduled stream, such as Elder Scrolls and Destiny or Vampire. One of them. I'll figure out what I feel like. But until then, bye, y'all.